So it's going to be a lift upwards for that compressed ox foot. Going that way. That's all right. And let your shoulder drop down. Cool. Wow. Feels 10 times better. God, I, I, yeah, thank you so much. As, as far as you yeah. go, that hurts? Yeah. If you look up, that's, that's okay. it. And if I glide your ox foot, ox foot's not continuing to tuck forward, does that hurt? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's worse. Yeah. So any rotation. This is my friend Kevin. <laughs> He's coming in with a very acute neck pain injury. Uh, would you mind telling him what's going on? Yeah, I uh, just had a quick workout on Wednesday morning and uh, typical day-to-day -day work stress, I think uh, kind of crept up uh, from my traps into my neck and I can't really, I can't turn more than this uh, to the left and well, here to the right. So uh, barely move my head back, um, so it's extremely tight. When you do those different ranges of motion, where do you feel the pain? Um, pretty much all on the left, right in here, uh, underneath my, uh, I'm not sure the terminology, but right yeah. behind my neck there. The base of the skull, upper neck. Base of the skull, and, yeah. And does it go yeah. down into the shoulder at all? A little bit, but not too much. It's primarily just up here. So, okay. yeah. so a two injury has happened very recently. He's got a contraction on that whole left side. Um, so we're going to show you what the main findings are and adjust it, and hopefully we'll see a difference. Uh, I'll have you check out his range of motion. Can I have you bring your chin down? So this is mostly looking at the top part of the neck. Have you turn? Yeah. It's about as far as you can go. Yeah. And turn the other way. That's about as far as you yeah. can go. That hurts. Yeah. If you look up. That's, that's it. Okay. And if I glide your ox foot, ox foot's not continuing to tuck forward. Does that hurt? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's worse. Yeah. So any rotation of the left hurts. Can have you come right around this way? So looking right behind at Kevin, you'll notice, look at the ears, how low the left side is. So again, thinking the occiput dropped down on that left side. We've got a contraction of the trap on that left side as well. Um, can I get you going on your stomach first? So Kevin's been coming in for a while, doing really good, but then had this injury with lifting. First thing I notice when he's face down is a contraction of the levator scapula along the border of his shoulder blade. And again, that goes right up top here as well. Yeah, and so right along this whole border is not as tender. Yep. Yeah. So because of his guarding response, I wanna adjust this first to hopefully allow some relaxation in his neck. So I wanna do this on your back. And get you on your back. This, this hand behind your neck. A lot of different ways to adjust this. I feel like this will be a great way to isolate the transverse process where that levator scap attaches. Right there. Is that okay? Yep. There you take a breath in and out. Letting that shoulder drop back. Good. And take a couple of huge breaths into your chest. So anytime we have a big misalignment of the vertebra or the occiput, you have nerves that exit that area of the spine that innervate the muscles. So those muscles will start to contract as well or seize up. So just from adjusting that part of his thoracics, we have more ease in the lifting component of his neck, but I'm still noticing that the occiput on that left side has really dropped down. So I could do a pull this way, I think it'll be easier to do a lift sitting up. Can I have you sit up? Can I have you try and turn your head? Turn the other way. Same or better? Um, it's a little better. Um, so. Okay. So the levator scapula is not as contracted on this left side. A little bit better just from adjusting that. Can I have you scoot forwards? Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Have you leaned back into my leg? Yeah. So hooking under his occiput, and it's gonna be a lift upwards for that compressed occiput. Going that way. That's all right. Mm -hmm. And let your shoulder drop down. Cool. Wow. <laughs> so 
So that move is great. I'm gonna take a couple huge breaths up here. A lot of stress around that area, so he's already starting to sweat a little bit, which is a sign of stress within the nervous system from that area. How are you doing? Good. Have you looked up? Yeah, I need better range of motion. Better already? Have you looked down? Way better looking down. If you come back to the left, better to the right. Is that okay? Yeah. No. It's all right, yeah. It's just super tight. Yeah. Yeah, if it's getting a little loose. Yeah. So I allow his body to relax over some neck traction for a little bit before we do anything else. So we got great movement on the vertebra. There's still a lot of tension within the ligaments. So I want to have your neck relax over this. It's usually not very comfortable. <laughs> you don't want to allow for the ligaments to relax into this curve. Is that okay? Yeah. All right, so we had Kevin on this for about five minutes to the point where he started to notice an ease in his system. So his, his ability to relax back over this at first is very uncomfortable. I'm gonna take it off, see what it feels like. Oh, it's super warm. So that warmth is one, a sign of the stress that we've had in that area and also the ligament starting to stretch. When I pull up on his neck, I'm looking for relaxation of the spinal cord coming into extension definitely a lot easier than it was. Checking rotation again, can be turn to the right? Right, that's like 70 out of 80 degrees, that's great. How about to the left? Wow. And already a lot better going to the left. How do you come straight ahead again? And that muscle on the very top left side is relaxed now. Yeah, if I traction here, how does that feel? That's good. It feels good? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do that thing sitting up, okay? Maybe sitting up. So we did a lift on the left side, but you'll still notice if we look at him from behind how much lower his left ear is. So now I'm gonna be doing a compressive type move on the right with the intention of opening the left. Can we speak forwards a little more? Right here. So Oxput's right there, dropping down, and that opens the opposite side. How's it feel on the left? I sink here and is that okay? That's okay on the left side? Yeah. So I'm tractioning his ox put up with my chest on the left. Come in here. That's fine. Oh. <laughs> Breathe. Nice. So now you can see his ears are almost completely leveling out. Seeing less contraction of the less left trap. It almost looks like his left trap's even a little bit lower now. All right, man, we're gonna test your range of motion. Can I have you look up to the ceiling? Okay, back down. Great flexion. It's better flexion. You turn to the right. Almost full range of motion to the right. Is that painful still? Uh, slightly on the left. A uh, okay. little bit of pain. Close to the left. But yeah. the motions. Pretty much full range of motion to the left now as well. You look up. Yeah, so guided motion, he has almost full extension mm. now back into his neck. You turn to the left. Turn to the right. So checking the contractility of the muscles, of the suboccipital muscles between the top vertebra in his neck and the skull. Still feels like there's a contraction of his scaling and SCM on that left side that attaches to the mastoid. So I'll have you turn your head to the left. So we're gonna do a little muscle release. It's usually not very comfortable. Holding that, can I be turned to the right? 
not pleasant. Good job. Breathe. Breathe. A little more anterior, do that one more time, is that okay? Going into that side and now rotating to the right. Yep, so just stripping some of this tight muscle. That tight muscle, again, is a response to the shift in this occiput and top vertebra. Good, so now that we've got great movement of the occiput and top vertebra, I also wanna break up that muscle in the neck. Cool, so now from here, let's see rotation one more time. Good, and rotating to the left. Oh. And the other left. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So pretty much full range of motion back. Yeah, wow. Good job. <laughs> I know it's not comfortable. Super oh, painful, man. he came yeah. in an extremely acute condition, so it just happened, it was completely seized up. He had almost zero rotation, extension, flexion. Um, we had some great movement. Again, we adjusted his occiput, which was a lift on the left side, compress on the right side, and then a posterior atlas on that left side as well, and then broke up the suboccipitals on the left. What do you think, man? It feels 10 times better. Uh, I, I, yeah, thank you so much. I know it's gonna take a little time for my muscles to relax right now, but definitely uh, just amazing work. Uh, you, you definitely, uh, some of the techniques that Jordan does with me over the, the past six months have been uh, something I've never experienced, and I've been going to a chiropractor for over 20 years, so I uh, really appreciate it. So, okay. Yeah. It's been a pleasure taking care of you. I'm sorry this happened recently, but I'm glad we were able to <laughs> I'll, see I'll him. be better, yeah. And then with this, with something like this, it's usually not a miracle adjustment. Like, what you just saw is huge in terms of getting his range of motion all the way back, and so now that things are moving, it can allow the fluid, the inflammation, to actually pump out and those muscles to release. But his body has just had a trauma, so it's going to want to tighten back up. So some of the things I would recommend that you do over the course of the weekend would be chin forwards, chin back, and then chin forwards, chin back with rotations, going both ways. And that's mostly gonna affect the upper cervical here, so that things don't just tighten back up. And then probably be a good idea to see you next week. Yeah. Um, and so that is one of the things that we'll do as chiropractors. Again, if you're looking for a chiropractor, please comment below, let me know, and know that there's always hope outside of drugs and surgery. Love and appreciate y'all. Take care. As about as far as yeah. you go. That hurts. Yeah. If you look up, that's, so that's okay. It. And if I glide your occiput, occiput's not continuing to tuck forward. Does that hurt? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's worse. Yeah. So any rotation. Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you for watching another one of my videos. If you found value in this video, please leave me a comment below, hit that like button, and let me know how I can further serve you. And as always, subscribe for more future videos.